Happy Halloween! How are you doing? I hope you are well. Happy early Halloween. I'm coming to you today from Halloween heaven. We've got some potion lights, a pumpkin, and some treacle lollies. Treacle. Treacle lollipops. I'm intrigued. I want to try one. I have some over here actually. I might try one now. They smell a bit weird. Tastes like the toffee on a toffee apple. Mm, where am I gonna put this now? Right, anyway, yes, as I said, I have set up some Halloween decorations for this video, but what we're going to be doing in today's video is making some Halloween decorations. I was thinking about what I could do to decorate my room this year for Halloween, and of course, my first thought went to Harry Potter. In Hogwarts, the Great Hall at Halloween is decorated with floating pumpkins and the ghosts flying around and the sweets everywhere, so that's what I'm going to try and turn my bedroom into. A lesser version, of course, it's never going to be quite as good as the Great Hall. So I have some supplies and we're going to make some floating pumpkins. I did a bit of research into how on earth I'm going to make pumpkins that float and glow. There were a few options, but I am going to go with one that I found on a website called Leah Griffith. I think that's how you say it. They have some really cute pumpkins that you can make quite easily. I will put in a picture. So yeah, I didn't make up this pumpkin design. I got it from the website Leah Griffith and I will link that for you. I'm also going to make some ghosts to be scattered in between. So that's the plan. Pumpkins, ghosts, floating, glowing. Mm. Let's see if we can make this happen. Okay. Now then, on the website that I got this tutorial from, you do have to sign up to get the full tutorial and to get the templates. I think it's free to sign up, but I don't know because I haven't signed up. I can pretty much get the gist from what I can see on the website. So I'm just gonna sort of like guesstimate my way through this. What you are going to need is a bunch of colored card. Oh, you need a bunch of, actually, no, you don't. You could get away with just having one orange color, a green and a brown, and that's all you could, you could use. But I have gone a bit wild and I'm gonna have different colored pumpkins. I've got orange, black for the faces, green for the leaf, brown for the stem, white for ghosts, an off-white for more pumpkin colors, and a yellow for more pumpkin colors. You need some clear wire for hanging them on the ceiling. I've got some glow-in-the-dark paint to make them glow, but if you don't want to use glow-in-the-dark paint or you want a stronger glow, you could use something that is an actual light source, like a little tea light or something. I've got a glue gun, some sellotape, some double-sided sellotape, and some blue tack, because I haven't decided how I'm gonna stick everything together yet. Some scissors. I have two pairs. A pencil, and then these are all spare things like needles in case I need to poke a hole in something, and wire. Oh, actually wire is another option for sticking things together. So that's everything that you will need. I have drawn out my own template based off of their template. I'm going to cut this out and use this as a template to draw on the other pieces of card. So that's the first step. Here we go, time-lapse of cutting. Looks like a flower, doesn't it? So it might look a bit weird now and not very pumpkin-y. It does look quite autumnal though, doesn't it? Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring these little circles on the end there. Do you see those circles? Those are gonna come together and that's what we're gonna use to stick it together to create a pumpkin shape. Oh, look at this. Oh yeah, oh God. It's gonna look like that, but better. It's gonna look better. Let's get drawing. I have cut out all of my pumpkin shapes. Now that we have all those cut out, we're going to cut out the rest of the elements for the pumpkin, the leaves, and also a square of brown card for the stalk. More cutting out. I feel like that's the bulk of the work, just drawing templates and cutting them out. One leaf, there's a leaf. I'm gonna do some scoring and stuff on that later, but I need to make some more leaves. <sighs>
Okay, God, this is taking longer than I thought it would. <laughs> Nevertheless, we have a whole stack of leaves now. Look at my leaves. Would you like to trade leaves? So that's another thing done. Now it's just the stems. This should be easier because they're just squares. One square, done. Okay, there's the stems. Nice and easy. So, stems, leaves, pumpkins. The next stage is to assemble the pumpkin. I might use the glue gun because it's a bit of fun. We'll be able to put a little piece of glue on each dot, then stick the next dot, more glue, stick the next dot. And I don't think sellotape's really gonna work for that. Now I've gotta wait for this to heat up. Should have decided that earlier. <sighs> Waste five minutes. Whilst we wait for the glue gun to heat up, I'm gonna try and figure out these stems because I'm not quite sure how they turn into stems. I'm just gonna try something. I'm gonna use my pencil. I'm gonna wrap this up. No, this doesn't look right. Hmm. Why is it so big? Okay, this is more like what they did. I'm thinking I didn't need six squares of brown card. Maybe I just needed one and then cut it into strips because this is kind of what the stem is meant to look like. It's like a curly piece of rectangular card and it's really cute. Okay, I'm gonna have to find a use for all of these bits of card because I don't need them anymore. You just need one square and then cut it into rectangles like this. Use a pencil to kind of curl it up at a bit of an angle, give it a bit of a curl and then you can kind of go in with your fingers and curl it even more to make it tighter and more stick-like. I'm sure the tutorial tells you exactly how to do this, but this is just how I'm figuring things out without it. They're pretty cute. Okay, we need more than that. I don't think it matters too much if this is a little bit messy as well. Oh, hello, little fly on my finger. Excuse me, excuse me. I think it's a bit cuter if they're messier. Okay, there we go. Those are our stems. We also need to score the leaves, but I can see that the glue is hot enough, so I think I'm gonna start using the glue. So, oh my God, I'm terrified that I'm going to mess this up. Let's take all the others away and just start with one. Gonna start gluing. Just gonna put a little dot of glue on the circle and then stick a circle to the top and keep going around like that. Trying to give them a bit of a squish as I go along. I want it to be more round. It's so small. Squidge, squidge, squidge. Squidgy, it's very bouncy. <laughs> Is this looking like a pumpkin yet? I think it's getting there. I take off this stringy glue and voila. That is our basic pumpkin shape. Now we need to attach a leaf and a stem. Before we do the leaf, I'm gonna have to do some scoring. I'm going to score along each part of the leaf towards a point so that we can give it a bit of a fold and it'll be a bit 3D. Give them all a little fold. There we go, a bit more of a 3D leaf. I think I might stick the stem on first. I'm just gonna fold down a bit of the end so that we have a flat bit. Stem and that seems very precarious, <laughs> but there's a leaf. Let's just really press that down. Right on in there, I squashed my pumpkin. Oh my God, I can pick it up, that's a good sign. So there's a little pumpkin, oh my God. Now we need to assemble the rest. Let's do a yellow one, this is fun. It's a yellow pumpkin. It's so cute. I really like the yellow actually. Okay, I'm gonna power through the next lot. We're halfway there. Run out of glue. We're gonna need some more glue. 
glue sticks. How cute are these pumpkins? Look at the white one. Ah, it's so pretty. Collection of pumpkins. I am losing light. We still have to put the faces on the pumpkins. I'm really worried to ruin them actually though, but we need to go for it. We need to get these floating pumpkins done. Let me turn off the glue gun. Rhyming. I have got some black card, which I have tested out my glow-in-the-dark paints on. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any glow-in-the-dark paint that was orange or black even. Can you imagine black glow-in-the-dark paint? That would be pretty brilliant. So I've got the choice of yellow, pink or green. These are called Nouveau Glow Drops, so they're meant to be thick drops. It says add dimensional details to craft projects. So I can spread them out thin and have the black show through, but the glow doesn't work as much. It's not as strong. I might do a thin coat and see how well it glows. And if it doesn't glow well, then I'll add some more layers. Does all that make sense? Let's use my pumpkin for reference. He's not got triangle eyes. Oh my God. Maybe we should do one with triangle eyes, one with his eyes, and then see where we go from there. Let's cut out a small triangle oh it's so cute i'll kind of keep their face as a surprise shall i let's try this guy's eye shape now shall we so it's kind of like l shapes oh off it goes oh that could work two more eyes squares circles i'm gonna do more triangles i like the triangles okay that is all of our eyes done now we need some mouths mouths what kind of mouth have you got oh no my light tell you what i'm gonna carry on cutting out these faces and i will come back to you when i start hanging them We're back. I'm sorry about that little interruption there. My light broke, the sun set. I ran out of light basically from both sources and it took a lot longer than I thought it would, but I did make some extra stuff. So maybe that's why. All you missed was putting on the faces. I also cut out some little ghosties. They don't really go with the pumpkins. They're kind of like a completely different style. So I don't know if these are gonna look any good alongside them, but I've made them anyway and they're very cute. So I'll use them somewhere. And then I started to worry about how small the pumpkins are. So I've also made some little candles that I'm going to have floating around amongst the pumpkins. So the only thing left to do is to hang them. So we'll do that now. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, I'm a floating pumpkin. Whilst I wait for the glue gun to heat up, I'm gonna measure out my wire. Hello, welcome to my lampshade. We want it to start about here. So the wire needs to be about that long. Scissors, got the string stuck in there on a little piece of glue. Just gonna let it dry. Because the pumpkins are really light, I think I can get away with using some sellotape. So I think that's what I'm gonna try to stick the pumpkins up with. What, that's, yeah, okay, here we go. I think it's dry or dry enough. <laughs> oh, but I can really see the sellotape. Let's go for a yellow one. Okay. I'm gonna put this guy here, I think. Ta-da! How are you sticking up? All right, you stay in there. Let's do another orange one over there. Bam. Oh no, I stuck it to my thumb instead of the ceiling. How's that? Oh, it's coming together. <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa. Ah. Next, I think the white one. Let's do the white one and that will go over here. How am I going to reach the ceiling over here? This spooky white one might be my favorite. It's a spooky ghost. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know what my laugh is about today. I'm just very excited about the pumpkins. Oh. And he's up. He's spinning. Oh, you can't see him spin. He's a happy chap, that one. He's got a happy face. I gave some of them happy faces. One pumpkin left. He's gonna go right about here. <gasps> oh no. The 
first tragedy. Is this gonna happen to me in the middle of the night? Are they all just gonna fall down? Don't fall down, pumpkins. None of them are facing this way. I've just noticed. Ooh. Be very careful. You can't see him. We got the pumpkins. Oh my God, it's magical. I'm going to keep putting up everything else. I'm gonna put up the candles next. I will show you the final result once I've done. I'm using you as support. It is exhausting. Hanging pumpkins. Oh, and candles. That was exhausting, but I have hung them all. I might do a bit of adjusting, like trying to get them to curl a bit more, perhaps. Stay, 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 stay. You're not obeying my magic. I think the ghosts would be too much and they wouldn't really suit all of the rest of the decorations. So I'm gonna make them into maybe like a ghost garland or something and hang them somewhere else. So for now, the ceiling is done. Let me show you because you can't see most of it. So I'm gonna give you a tour. Let me take you onto the bed. Oh, there's dust on my jumper. Look at that dust. Don't mind the lights and the mess of the room. Okay, I'm done. This craft was very fun. I'm gonna leave you loads of links if you want to check them out. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope to see you again in the next one and I will talk to you again very soon. Goodbye, happy Halloween. Wingardium Leviosa. It's already up, I don't need the magic. <laughs>